My name is Anna and I work for the CalFresh Healthy Living Program here in the Santa Clara County Public Health Department and today I'm gonna be your nutrition educator. We're gonna learn about the five food groups and what extras are and as we go over the lesson I'd like you to bring a notebook or five pieces of paper so you can use them to draw your favorite foods per food group. So this is a good time for you to pause this video and get ready. Are you ready? Let's start! This chart uses different colors that help us recognize the foods that we need to eat every day. They're grouped together because they share the same main nutrients and also to provide the most health benefits. These five columns are full of foods that will give us energy to learn and grow. The first food group, the blue food group, it's called the dairy food group. And in this food group, we're gonna find foods like milk, cheese or yogurt so anytime that you are having a grilled sandwich with cheddar cheese or a bowl of cereal with low-fat milk you are adding dairy foods to your day one of my favorite dairy foods is yogurt i really like eating yogurt especially in the mornings with some fruit in it what is one of your favorite dairy foods you can go ahead and pause this video and draw your favorite food from the dairy food group. The second food group, the green food group, it's called the vegetable food group. And in this food group, we're going to find colorful vegetables like carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, zucchini, canned or frozen vegetables. So anytime that you are adding some tomatoes or bell peppers to your pizza, guess what? you are adding vegetables to your day. If you're not a big fan of one of the vegetables, you can give it a try eating it in a different way for at least 20 more times. You might get surprised and ending up liking it. One of my favorite vegetables is cucumber. I really like eating cucumbers because they are crunchy and refreshing. What is one of your favorite vegetables? or one way that you like eating your vegetables. So you can go ahead and pause this video and draw your favorite vegetable or the favorite way that you like eating your vegetables. The third food group, the red food group, it's called the fruit group. And in this food group, we're gonna find tasty fruits like grapes, raisins, bananas, kiwi. So anytime that you are adding some pineapple to your pizza or some strawberries to your smoothie or your cereal you are adding fruits to your day they are sweet by nature and one of my favorite fruits is watermelon i really like watermelon it's super refreshing but now you can tell me what is one of your favorite fruits you can go ahead and pause this video and draw your favorite fruit the fourth food group, the orange food group, is also known as the grains food group. And in this food group, we're gonna find grains like breads, cereals, pastas, rice. For health benefits, we recommend you that at least half of the grains that you eat are whole grains. Whole grains like brown rice, whole wheat bread. One of my favorite grains is tortilla. I really like eating tortillas and I can make myself some quesadillas for dinner. What is one of your favorite grains? You can go ahead and pause this video and draw your favorite grain. The fifth food group, the purple food group, it's called the protein food group. And in this food group, we're gonna find foods like meats, like chicken, beef, fish, we're also gonna find other protein foods like beans, nuts, seeds, eggs, tofu, hummus. So anytime that you are having a burrito with beans or a peanut butter sandwich, the peanut butter is gonna be part of the protein food group and the beans are gonna be part of the protein food group as well. One of my favorite protein foods is hummus. I really like hummus because I can use it as a dip with my carrots or my cucumbers or in my sandwiches. So hummus is my favorite protein food. 
but what is one of your favorite protein foods? You can go ahead and pause this video and draw your favorite protein food. Now, there are other foods that do not belong to any of the five food groups, and those foods are called extras. Why? Because they have extra sugar, extra salt, and extra fat. So, some examples of extra foods that have extra salt could be french fries, bacon, ketchup, pickles. Examples of foods that have extra sugar could be donuts, cakes, cookies, or examples that have extra fat could be butter, whipped cream, french fries. So trying to stay away from too many extras is the healthiest choice. All right, today we learned about the five food groups. We learned that they belong to five different colors and that they are grouped together because they share the same main nutrients and health benefits. And we also learned that eating less foods from the extra foods and eating more foods from the five food groups is the healthiest choice. So thank you so much for watching today's video. You can keep your drawings and for the next class in which you're going to be learning about the health benefits and the main nutrients, you can make your own poster. All right. Thank you so much. You all did awesome. See you next time and continue eating your five food groups. <laughs>